Five. The career of Chris Miller is being swarmed by both Mario and Mateo at the same time. Both with the same idea. And look at this. The competition getting a little touchy-feely. Oh, wow. You never know. That spank is something that Mateo would really enjoy. You never know. Oh, it's Mario's turn. The ladies in the house are going to like that. And Mateo with the love tap from behind. Meanwhile, from CNC Destruction, the career killer, Chris Miller. Oh, my. Close line to pull from behind. Chris Miller ruined everything. How dare him. Support. Two of the big favorites in all of LLT this entire year. Mario Pardua, the son of Poland, one of the most electrifying and entertaining. The Polish hammers of the ring, and Mateo definitely in trouble early, giving up some height, maybe even some power to Mario. And a miss. Mateo trying to take advantage of an opportunity. Mario got trapped in the corner, absorbed the roundhouse. Oh no, not again, not again! This time, it's Mario seeing a sign of the moon he was not expecting. Yes, Queen! Take a look at that particular vision in the sky. Oh my! Mateo's enjoying a whole lot of this. The Fat Femme Asian sensation, the exotico of Lucha Libre Total. As Mateo continues to collapse the lungs and the chest of Mario. But look at this! Nice agility exercised by Mario as he inverted the pinning attempt into a sunset flip. But Mateo with a nice counter. Both with the same idea. And look at this, the competition getting a little touchy-feely. Oh, wow. You never know, that spank is something that Mateo would really enjoy. You never know. Oh, it's Mario's turn. The ladies in the house are going to like that. And Mateo with the love tap from behind. You might notice El Guapito has returned to Lucha Libre Total. And you never know when El Guapito might have his backside squeezed a little bit. Meanwhile, from CNC Destruction, the career killer, Chris Miller. Oh my, close line to both from behind. We were gonna see a very spectacular, special moment, and Chris Miller ruined everything. How dare him? And the crowd not happy about the fact that all their fun, all their amusement was taken away by Chris Miller early in this one. Scooping body slam, Chris Miller. Keeping it basic as he nails Mateo Valentine. Right there with that elbow drop. And there's the butterfly suplex, one of Chris Miller's signature moves. And Mario powers out in time. Mateo is about ready to break up the pinning attempt. Remember, in a triangle match, in a triple threat scenario, Lucha Libre style, one fall decides it. Miller 
rotates Mateo with a beautiful spine buster. And there was no way for Mateo to protect themselves from that drop. Oh, Mario, the float over DDT. He's used that to ground Miller before, but couldn't put him away. Mateo scored the controversial roll-up victory on Chris Miller at Cicero Stadium weeks ago, and Mario put a hurt to the attorney Eric Schultz after the match, and all the final papers were flat everywhere. Double flagliner at the same time, and Mateo might wrap both Miller and Mario in a submission simultaneously. The question is who will tap, if they tap, and then... Will Mateo be declared the winner when it's said and done? Look at this! All the legs trapped behind the combatants. And look at this! All the heads being cranked in an awkward position, up and over, tilting and spinning the neck and the head and the jaws, and everyone's got a headache after that. There was nothing pleasant about that hold for either of the three individuals. Mateo might have taken a lot out of himself, by putting him uh, that, themselves, especially in that particular position. Slugfest going down between the two Technicos in this triangle match. And it's Miller, the opportunist, trying to take advantage. And it's a double jawbreaker. And he's got the pick of the litter. And Mario kicks out first. There's another option. Here's plan B. Not enough. Chris Miller has been very dominant in Lucha Libre Total recently, and he has had a long extended stint in LLT in the past. He's used sledgehammers, tables, steel chairs, steel chains. And Miller will do anything to win. It doesn't matter if he has to cheat or if he has to hurt people. He has to end careers or shorten careers. He'll do it. Oh, wow! That's a face full of stuff you'll remember for a lifetime. What a plunging drop. Miller's hurt on the outside. There's the five check. Mario could barely stand. He's out on his own two feet. There it is. Northern White suplex for the bridge. Oh, wow. A version of their last relationship. Mateo almost put Mario down for the count right there. What the heck is in Miller's hands out down there? going to rush in. Mateo caught Mario guessing. And Mario pushes off. Swing and a miss. Arm ringers everywhere. There could be it. The Mario end. No, Mario score the win. Oh yeah. Mario Pardua has won this match. But wait a minute. From behind. What's Chris Miller got in his hand? Oh no. He hit Mario Pardua the head. With that sledgehammer, Christine! Christina's in a full effect! What the heck is the meaning of this? Just because you didn't win, you're gonna knock these two out? Oh, not again with that foreign object! That huge sledgehammer just got rammed! And might have bent in the heads and skulls and caved in both Mateo and Mario! They've both been wiped out! And Miller is the last one standing! And sometimes, the last one standing, he who laughs last, laughs best. And Miller has laid out all the options after that. Miller didn't lose this match. He just wasn't involved in the deciding fall. But when it was all said and done, Miller left bodies laying in multiples in the ring. The crowd definitely in shock and awe of what they just witnessed. No huge celebration today like there was at Cicero Stadium weeks ago. And both of these individuals were just hit in the head with sledgehammers and somehow they're standing at the head. And Mario, Mario is the winner, but Mateo gave Mario everything that they could take.